the moment, the second best chess player in the world is a 20-year-old Norwegian named Magnus Carlsen. He has a genes endorsement, recites Monty Python skits from memory, and has never won the World's Strongest Man contest. That was Magnus Ver Magnusson. Instead, Magnus Carlsen is like the John Connor of chess, standing at the battle line where humans and computers clash. Though, it's fair to say the humans already lost that battle. In 1996, right around the time Magnus Carlsen played his first game of chess, a Russian super double grandmaster named Garry Kasparov played a match against the IBM super double supercomputer named Deep Blue. The human won. The next year, Kasparov and Deep Blue held a rematch. This time, the computer won. And the computers have gotten even craftier. This February, the showdown raged on when another IBM creation named Watson defeated two humans on the game show Jeopardy. Then Watson donated his $1 million in winnings to charity, proving that computers have a heart, even if that heart is made of ones and zeros. Anyway, computers have not yet solved chess, a term that refers to running through every possible move to play the optimal game. There are too many possibilities, but humans now have no chance of beating the machines. They use brute force processing to play out more gambits and attacks than humans can calculate, then pick the best option. And they do it without style. Magnus Carlsen recently watched a pair of chess computers play each other in an exhibition. He came away with two conclusions. One, the best computers are stronger than the best players. And two, the games are not interesting at all. Incidentally, Carlsen doesn't like to play against computers, saying the experience is like playing someone who is extremely stupid, but who beats you anyway. But that aversion seems to be one of Magnus Carlsen's strengths, because it separates him from the rest of the Grand Masters. Most of Carlsen's opponents are using computers for analysis and instruction, and that has generally raised the level of play among the world's Grand Masters in recent years. They are all learning how to play like computers. However, while computers can crunch numbers, there's one thing they cannot teach. What a woman's love feels like. Whoopsie, scratch that. Intuition. Computers cannot teach that, and intuition is what Magnus has. He's lazy about preparing for tournaments, plays a lot of online poker, and says he hates losing a game of Monopoly more than a game of chess. But he still has a naturally strong sense for where to place his pieces. To use his word, he seeks harmony on the board, and says a great game isn't about cold analysis, but psychological warfare. And for now, the warrior is beating the analysts. So let us call this the irony of Magnus Carlsen. In matters of chess, a computer beats a human. However, the human that plays like a human beats the humans that try to play like computers.